Here's your first alert weather forecast from meteorologist Alex Searle. So Alex, we were talking a little bit earlier about the first alert weather day tomorrow. With that, any chances for tornadoes? Because I don't like tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, the main threat is straight line winds and hail, but there is a low tornado risk with it as well. It could potentially be one of the bigger outbreaks we've seen so far of 2024. We haven't had too much yet, but we got to keep a very close eye on tomorrow because of that uh, severe weather threat is definitely uh, looking favorable for some severe storms tomorrow. And I'm going to get to all the specific details in just one second, but let's run through what today is looking like here first as we look at your Comanche Nation Entertainment Tower cam. Lots of sunshine starting to come out over the horizon here and temperatures are off to a comfortable start out there at 61 degrees with winds fairly light at about just 12 miles per hour. So very comfortable start across the area as majority of Texoma is in the upper 50s and low 60s, 55 degrees in Lawton, 59 in Duncan, 62 degrees in Wichita Falls right now, 55 degrees in Altus. So very nice start for everybody in the area. It's going to be a beautiful Sunday all day long. So get out and enjoy that nice weather. Looking at your riding forecast, your temperature is going to warm up pretty quickly. Once that sun comes out, we'll be already up to 73 degrees by 10 a.m. And by the time we get to the afternoon time, we'll get to a high of right around 91 degrees for majority of us in Texoma. So if we do reach the 90 degree mark today in Lawton, that will be the first time in the year of 2024 we've officially reached the 90 degree mark. So we'll keep a close eye on that and keep you guys updated. But let's go ahead and look at that severe weather threat for tomorrow because that's the big story. We have that first alert weather day in effect for it. So starting out going to be starting in the evening time. So right around 5, 6 p.m. is when we expect that storm development out in western Texoma. And it's important to note it's not going to be widespread coverage. It's just going to be a couple cells here and there. But the cells that do form are going to be very isolated, probably a supercell form. And as they move west to east, they'll definitely produce that severe weather threat. And then we'll see probably some more development into the overnight hour. So it starts at 5 p.m. and it's going to go well into the overnight hours here. So you'll have to keep uh, those weather alerts on and have multiple ways of getting those weather alerts in case you do go to sleep in the overnight hours there. You will want to make sure to keep an eye on that weather with the severe weather threat still persisting. Eventually the storms will move out and by about 6 a.m. on Tuesday morning those storms will clear out of the area. So uh, it's going to be an overnight event mostly here in Texoma. The enhanced risk for severe weather is going to be out in western portions of Texoma. Then that slight risk for severe weather uh, encompasses the rest of the viewing area here. So everybody in the area could see a pop-up storm or two tomorrow night going into Tuesday morning. And it's just going to be uh, dependent on where the, the specific locations get those storms. We'll keep a very close eye on that and, of course, keep you guys updated on that as well here. Let's go ahead and look at the threats for tomorrow. So it's going to be mainly a wind and hail event. I have up to 60 to 80 mile per hour winds possible and up to baseball sized hail. There is a low tornado risk. It's definitely not a zero risk. So that is also going to be something that is closely monitored as well. And then localized flooding possible, but the, the main threats will be those strong winds and baseball sized hail with any storm that forms here in Texoma. So that's uh, kind of the whole day for tomorrow. But once you look beyond tomorrow, It'll be a dry portion for the middle parts of the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Temperatures in the 80s. See some more storm activity possible on Friday and Saturday. And as we look at your bonus forecast, the following week, going to be a little bit cooler, 60s and 70s, with another round of storms possible on that Tuesday.